Vertical deflection. The vertical deflection VD, or deflection of the vertical do V, also known as deflection of the plumb line and astrogeodetic deflection, is a measure of how far the gravity direction at a given point of interest is rotated by local mass anomalies, such as nearby mountains. They are widely used in geodesy, for surveying networks and for geophysical purposes. The vertical deflection are the angular components between the true zenith nadir curve plumb line tangent line and the normal vector to the surface of the reference ellipsoid chosen to approximate the Earth's sea level surface. VD are caused by mountains and by underground geological irregularities and can amount to angles of 10 in flat areas or 2050 in mountainous terrain. The deflection of the vertical has a north south component X Roman 11 and an east-west component eta. The value of x is the difference between the astronomic latitude and the geodetic latitude, taking north latitudes to be positive and south latitudes to be negative. The latter is usually calculated by geodetic network coordinates. The value of e is the product of cosine of latitude and the difference between the astronomic longitude and the longitude taking east longitudes to be positive and west longitudes to be negative. When a new mapping datum replaces the old, with new geodetic latitudes and longitudes on a new ellipsoid, the calculated vertical deflections will also change. Determination The deflections reflect the undulation of the geod and gravity anomalies, for they depend on the gravity field and its inhomogeneities. Vertical deflections are usually determined astronomically. The true zenith is observed, astronomically with respect to the stars, and the ellipsoidal zenith theoretical vertical by geodetic network computation, which always takes place on a reference ellipsoid. Additionally, the very local variations of the vertical deflection can be computed from gravimetric survey data and by means of digital terrain models DTM, using a theory originally developed by Venning Manis. VD are used in astrogeodetic leveling, as a vertical deflection describes the difference between the geodal and ellipsoidal normal direction. It represents the horizontal, spatial gradient of the geod undulations of the geod, i.e., the separation between geod and reference ellipsoid. In practice, the deflections are observed at special points with spacings of 20 or 50 kilometers. The densification is done by a combination of DTM models and aerial gravimetry. Precise vertical deflection observations have accuracies of plus 0.2 on high mountains plus 0.5, calculated values of about 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, the maximal vertical deflection of Central Europe seems to be a point near the Grossglockner 3000, 798 m, the highest peak of the Austrian Alps. The approx values are x equals plus 50 and e equals 30. In the Himalaya region, very asymmetric peaks may have vertical deflections up to 100.0.3 dig. In the rather flat area between Vienna and Hungary the values are less than 15, but scatter by plus 10 for irregular rock densities in the subsurface. More recently, a combination of digital camera and tilt meter have also been used, see Zenith camera. Application Vertical deflections are principally used in four matters for precise calculation of survey networks. The geodetic theodolites and leveling instruments are oriented with respect to the true vertical, but its deflection exceeds the geodetic measuring accuracy by a factor of 5 to 50. Therefore, the data have to be corrected exactly with respect to the global ellipsoid. Without these reductions, the surveys may be distorted by some centimeters or even decimeters per km. For the geodetermination mean sea level and for exact transformation of elevations, the global geodal undulations amount to 5100 m and their regional values to 1050 m. They are adequate to the integrals of VD components x, e, and therefore can be calculated with CM accuracy over distances of many kilometers. For GPS surveys, 
The satellite's measurements refer to a pure geometrical system, usually the WG SATI 4 ellipsoid, whereas the terrestrial heights refer to the GEID. We need accurate GEID data to combine the different types of measurements. For geophysics, because VD data are affected by the physical structure of the Earth's crust and mantle, geodesists are engaged in models to improve our knowledge of the Earth's interior. Additionally, and similar to applied geophysics, the VD data can support the future exploration of raw materials, oil, gas, or ores. Historical implications Vertical deflections were used to measure Earth's density in the Shehalian experiment. Vertical deflection is the reason why modern prime meridian passes more than 100 m to the east of the historical astronomic prime meridian in Greenwich. The meridian arc measurement made by Nicholas Louis de Lacalle north of Cape Town in 1752, de Lacalle's arc measurement was affected by vertical deflection. The resulting discrepancy with northern hemisphere measurements was not explained until a visit to the area by George Everest in 1820. McClear's arc measurement reserve ultimately confirmed Everest's conjecture. Apparent errors in the meridian arc of de Lambert and McCain determination, which affected the original definition of the meter, were later found to be caused by vertical deflection.